Revel. Um, I'm Visitor Development Officer here at Brandon Country Park. Um, today we've got Enchanted Forest going on, um, which has been absolutely fantastic. We've got all sorts of activities going on. It's all based around sounds, so it's all sounds of the forest. Um, so we've got drumming going on, you might be able to hear in the background. We've had storytellers um, playing amazing instruments. And we've had a second drummer who've sort of been talking to each other, which is great. Um, and then we've got wishing tree, we've had fairy wands. Um, and just next to me over here we've got a fairy, um, giant fairy being made out of natural items that people have found on the floor. Face painting, um, all sorts of things going on. I think um, I liked everything but there's two that stand out the most. Making the mystical web out of stinging nettles and the, making the badges. I'm Nick Collinson, I'm the Head of Natural and Historic Environment at Suffolk County Council. So at Suffolk County Council we're really keen to engage um, the people of Suffolk with the natural environment and so that they can really benefit in terms of the mental and physical benefits of, of being outdoors and active. And some of the work that we've been doing with public health has demonstrated that um, some people lack confidence in terms of what to do when they go outdoors, where they can go, what they can do, and what footpaths they can follow, where they know they can find their way back. So events like this are really great in terms of engaging people with the natural environment, getting them outdoors, enjoying this wonderful weather that we're having today, um, and you know, beginning to introduce children, young people and families to you know, the fantastic things that Suffolk's countryside has to offer. My favourite thing was when we were making like, dens. My favourite thing was making the and um, doing the drums. My name is Nick Dixon. I'm the project manager for the Breaking New Ground Landscape Partnership Scheme. Today's event is is part of a series of events under the Enchanted banner. Uh, and um, it's really intended to get people out to enjoy the landscape but also to celebrate breaking new ground. There's a large series of events taking place today and, and really we're trying to encourage people to come and explore uh, not only Brandon Country Park but to learn more about the Brex, about the forest and hopefully they'll come back and, and, and do more of these sorts of activities in the future. It's really important that we, we create these sorts of events so that people that may not have been previously can come and experience it. It's Obviously it's free, there's an awful lot going on um, and hopefully they'll find something that really resonates uh, and that is, is fun for them to take part in and they'll come and do it again. Uh, it's lovely just to do something different and uh, yeah obviously the fact that it's free as well you know it was um, it's just been a brilliant day out really good. I think um, breaking new ground has, has, has really made a, a fantastic contribution to Brandon Country Park and today's event is a, is a great case in point. Um, what BNG support has done um, in terms of this event today has enabled the park to um, try new things. It's enabling the park to uh, develop a different kind of events program. We've already got more people here than we've probably seen at the park ever before. Um, and that's very much thanks to the investment that Breaking New Ground and the Heritage Lottery Fund has made, which is enabling this park to, to, to really you know, make a step change in terms of what it has to offer. What we have seen uh, on the three or four activities that we've done is the, uh, the interactiveness of, of it all, yes. the way the children engage. Um, it's just fantastic. Can you just leave them, can't you? Just yeah. Not for too long, them. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, the drummer fella who's doing the. Is it Jambo? Jambo. Jambo. I mean, all the children interacted with that and they were. They were doing the drumming weren't they? Yeah, and they the, were. their faces were getting more and more excited mm -hmm. uh, and the fella had them in the palm of his hand and he was getting them to stop exactly when he said and they did didn't they? they did. One, two, three, four. Stop. stop! I think this is really a well worth uh, thing to do for children and I'd love to see children who who don't normally engage outside having the chance to come and do this. Uh, personally I liked the storyteller and the drumming. What did you like Jakey? Uh, I liked I liked, I liked, I liked the face, I liked the face painting. You like the face painting? 
one of the important things about uh, events like this is to try and instill the sort of uh, appreciation of the landscape within the communities. Hopefully we can uh, get the youngsters, get the message across to the youngsters about why the landscape is so important uh, and that can be part of um, what they take back, for, uh, take away from here. Our favourite thing was, yeah, was to um, find all the, find all the pictures, yeah, and climb the tree. And it's helped us immensely to um, engage with new audiences. We've had local audiences from Brandon coming who've never been to the park before, don't use, you know, don't use the forest around them. So we've had people coming as far as Kings Lynn, Great Yarmouth. They saw it all on our social media and wanted to join in. So it's been a really great event. Yeah, I, saw I, some, so. I, I saw a field so, with well, sandy well, soil well, and well, grass, well, and I well, love well, it. It was so beautiful.